Trigonometry Unit Section 3. In this section, you will learn about a variety of situations where the trigonometric skills you acquired in this chapter can be used. Trig is used by surveyors, builders, navigators, and others to determine distances that would be otherwise difficult to determine. And here we have some examples, height of a building, tree, tower, so on, width of a river, canyon. Here's an application. Pikes Peak is located in McGregor, Iowa, and our goal is to find how high are we above the Mississippi River. So here we are on an observation deck. We're going to use a range finder to determine a point down on the river. So here's a drawing of what's going on. The question is, how high above the river are we? Using a range finder, we pick a point and determine the distance. And the river is making a right angle with our height. The range finder also will tell us what the angle measurement is. Sometimes this is called an angle of depression. This is an angle made from a horizontal line drawn to the line of sight to an object. If we slide over our height to the right, we now can see our right triangle with vertical and horizontal lines forming a right angle. And if you use the 20 degree measurement as the reference angle through the triangle, we're trying to determine how high we are above the river, which in terms of the right triangle is the opposite side. We have our hypotenuse, the distance to the opposite shore, and we're set to solve this triangle. Which version of our trig ratio will we use? We're looking for opposite and we have hypotenuse, so we will use the sine ratio, replacing the variables with the information sine of the angle, which is 20 degrees, is equal to the opposite we don't know over the hypotenuse. When the variable is in the numerator of the ratio, we can multiply both sides by 1,462, the value in the denominator, and solve the problem. The resulting answer is 500 feet. Here's another example. To establish the height of a building, a person walks 120 feet away from the building. The height and the distance away horizontally are at right angles to one another. At that point, an angle of elevation, and what we're talking about with an angle of elevation is the angle made from a horizontal line up to the line of sight to an object is 32 degrees. You can see here we have the basis of a right triangle Labeling the sides of this triangle using the 32 degree angle of elevation as a reference angle, we're looking for the opposite. And we do know the adjacent because of walking away from the building. Using the trig ratio involving opposite and adjacent, we will choose tangent. Plugging in the particulars for this example, tangent of 32 degrees is equal to our unknown opposite over the adjacent 120 feet. Multiplying both sides by 120 to get x by itself gives us an answer for the height of this building of 75 feet. As we mentioned at the start of this video, Using trigonometry to help us determine measurements of inaccessible distances is often a job for surveying. Perhaps if we want to know the distance across a lake, a river, or a canyon, we can do something similar to what we just did with the height of the building. Find a reference point, walk down perpendicular across the shore, then look back at that object and solve the right triangle that is formed. 
Here's a drawing of what we just saw in the previous slide. We're trying to determine the width of the river. The individual is going to walk parallel to the river a specified distance. Look at the original reference object. In this case, it's the tree. Making note of that angle, we can put this together then forming a right triangle to solve then using our trigonometric ratios. Identifying the sides of the triangle given our reference angle. In this example, we are looking for an opposite and we know an adjacent, which is the definition for tangent. Replacing the variables with the specific values, tangent of the angle 37 degrees is equal to our opposite unknown length over the adjacent known length of 70. Multiply both sides by 70 to get x by itself and it turns out that this river is 52.7 feet across and hopefully no one got wet feet in making this determination. Another area that we see applications is on grades. You may have seen signs like this. It's dealing with the steepness of the slope of the road <clears throat> and what that means if for example, we have a grade of 8%. This means that for every 100 units of horizontal distance traveled, it gains 8 feet in elevation. We see this here in the Telegraph Herald. For example, there was an article some time ago that says, why you should be afraid. A short street, but it's the street, city's steepest with a 22% grade. You can't see the bottom from the top. So there, if you've ever been in Dubuque, Montcrest Street is one of the worst and there's others that aren't too far behind as far as having these very steep grades. So let's take a look at calculating what angle is actually equal to that grade measurement. And this is a side view, not to scale, but again definition of that grade listed as a percentage means that for every 100, if you think about percent, 5 percent, that's where the 100 is coming from, the percent sign, we will have an elevation of five units for every 100 horizontal distance. In this 7% grade, it simply means that the percent for every 100 horizontal unit distance traveled, there will be an elevation or height gain of seven units. It can be in feet, yards, meters, whatever measurement you choose. We're forming right triangles and from those right triangles we can determine what that angle is of this slope or grade for these examples here. Given our right triangle, we have an opposite of our reference and an adjacent. We will use the tangent function to solve this. We have our ratio, so we will take the inverse of the decimal equivalency to give us a value of 29.2 degrees is equivalent to a 5% grade. On the second example above here, our 7% translates into what angle measurement? We have an opposite of 7 to that reference angle and an adjacent of 100. We'll use the tangent ratio for opposite over adjacent. Replacing the fraction with a decimal inverse tangent of the ratio to find the angle measurement and a 7% grade on the highway means that that angle formed is 4 degrees. For additional practice on these types of applications, look at practice at 17.